Welcome to this Goldilocks Productions presentation. Before we begin the show, let's go over quick guidelines. Callers, if you would like to get on air to ask the show host a question, please press 1. All those callers that do not press 1 and any blocked phone numbers, unlisted phone numbers, and Skype callers whose phone numbers do not show up on the switchboard, you will be in listen mode only. It is not mandatory that the show hosts bring on callers. So please keep your questions to one question only and be mindful and respectful of the other callers that are calling in and of the show host as well. If you have any issues or any problems um, and even any compliments or testimonials, please contact the Goldilocks Productions show producer and owner at the email of goldilocksproductions at hotmail.com. Again, that email is Goldilocks with a Y, Goldilocks Productions at hotmail.com. Thank you. Now on with the show. Enjoy this Goldilocks Productions presentation of the Joyful Finding Show with your host, Melissa Parks. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Joyful Finding Show. Glad you could make it today. Um, a lot is going on in the world. How are you all hanging in there? Woo! I tell you what, even technical difficulties again today, Messenger doesn't want to work for me. So I don't know if that has anything to do with Mercury going into retrograde tomorrow. But anyways, we can still communicate other ways. So I hope you guys are all tapping in today feeling the love, the energy that's flowing out around you, through you, and what you are. You are love. You are all love. I love that. Um, So a lot of things have been taking place in the last couple weeks. I feel like, oh, and I want to say happy Halloween for tomorrow before I forget because I'm going to get on the rampage here of talking and, and taking my callers. But it's all like, you know, all these things that are taking place in our lives. And I'm seeing it with my clients. I'm seeing it with my friends. I'm seeing it with family members. They're all being shooken up right now to change for the better, okay? So even if what you thought was, you know, the right path in that particular moment, the universe has now shook it up and said it is now time to choose another path, to move in another direction, to let go of more of the past, and to really stand in being in your highest and best self, okay? Um, And I try to do this every day. And I say try because I'm still learning too, okay? So we're all still learning, So learning never ends on earth, okay? So it's like we all continue to grow. We all continue to learn. We all are uncovering who we really are because even I still feel like I'm doing that. I feel like I'm still peeling off all these layers of everything that's been happening or going on in my life. Um, So I feel like all of you are going through a lot of this too. So just know that you're not alone Someone is always going through something very similar, maybe not the same exact thing, but we all go through a lot of the same similar things, uh, have a lot of the same emotions, feelings that we have to let go of. Maybe there's, I feel like there's still a lot of people letting go of anger and they're getting me to vibrate while I think about that right now. Um, And there also needs to be forgiveness in your heart. So the energy is starting to pick up as I'm talking to you all. So I hope you guys can feel those vibrations that are spreading out to you, helping you clear everything that's for your, not for your highest and best and leaving everything that is behind. So we're starting to stand in our power more. We're starting to stand in our truth more. And I'm seeing that. And I'm starting to see that a lot of people are still misunderstood too. So just know that everything's starting to um, shimmy and shake. They just said, that's so funny. They're funny. Uh, So everything's starting to shimmy and shake into the right direction. So if things feel a little off kilter right now, that's good. Um, Okay. And we just came through this new moon um, that came through on Sunday. So I hope you put out the really good intentions about what you want in your future, um, because I feel like that's very important. Um, They've got me in sync with all of that. So now I hope you guys are all in sync with that too. And I want you all to pay attention because as soon as I just looked up to the sky after I just said that, there's this cloud out in front of me, and it kind of looks like a bat. So there's a lot of rebirthing going on, people. There's a lot of um, 
Um, I love how the universe just keeps talking to me in this way. It's so awesome. So the, the universe is telling us it's about rebirthing, okay? But it's also about us rebirthing, um, shedding all this old stuff, but really to go into who we originally were. Um, it's all about taking all those powers back. And as I say that to you, I'm starting to vibrate. So I never know where these things are going to go, so just follow me. So it's like we're taking all this power back from all these outside sources, and we're going back to origin. It's like we're going back to our our soul self, our light self, our you know, our star self, whatever you see that is as that beautiful, bright light. And as I say that, I can feel my body becoming lighter. So um, I hope you guys can feel that too. It's, it's phenomenal. But it's like now really starting to really let go of what our human thinks are, we really need to still hold on to because sometimes that's our stumbling block is that we're human. Okay. So it's like, We have to get over that part of ourselves. And I know that I say that, and it's not always easy, but we're learning. We're learning, and that's the most important thing. So I'm glad that all of you could join me here today. It's so spectacular. Um, And the night before Halloween, um, I hope you guys are all going out trick-or-treating with your kids if you have some or giving out some candy to your trick-or-treaters or just hanging out with your friends. I feel like this is a time of really being together. Um, and the, also the veils are very thin. So the spirits, our angels, our guides, everyone is trying to connect and be with us. Okay. Um, and it's all, you know, again, last week I talked about the mystical creatures and stuff, and I've seen a bunch of them driving around, you know, cause everyone's all decorated for Halloween and stuff. So they're definitely out in full force. They're here to help us. There's so many levels of help out there. Um, in the spiritual realm, and I wish I could show you what it looks like in my mind. Um, It's just so many different layers, and they're just all here to be of service and to help to all of you. So, woohoo, I'm excited to see where this goes. And lots of love is getting spread around, and I feel like more of that even so is being spread through each and every one of you, through all the deeds that you're doing, the thoughts that you're doing. There's so much love being created. They're showing me it's like this little wave, um, this, and it's becoming bigger and bigger. So the more love that you put out there, the bigger this love wave is, and the more it affects the people out there. So spread love, people. Spread the love. Okay, and I think I'm ready to start taking some callers today, and I am looking forward to seeing who's out there today. And it looks like my first caller is calling in from area code 931. Hello. Hi. Who are you and where are you calling from today? My name is Arian, and I'm calling from Montana. (laughs) Hi, Arian from Montana. How can I help you today? Well, um... I just have a question. Uh, I've been having health problems recently. I had my son. I'm only 19, and I was diagnosed with a rare blooding, a rare blood clotting disorder, and um, it moved to my lung. And uh, I was just wondering what you see for my health because I'm pretty freaked out. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can feel that. Um, first thing is you need to start taking better care of yourself. Um, and I feel like you need to give yourself some self-love. Okay, and I'm not a medical intuitive, so and I don't claim to be one, but I feel like, one, not to be freaked out, two, don't own it, just think of it as it's a, a stumbling block or something like that. They want you to refocus how you're thinking about it because you're making it stronger, if that makes sense, because we can kind of feed mm-hmm. it with our thoughts. Um, so they would like right. you to see it as disappearing, dissipating. Um, allowing your blood to flow freely, um, allowing yourself to clear. Um, Because I feel like you're a very energetic being. Um, Mm -hmm. And there's something that blocked you. And I feel like that's where this all came from, some block or whatever. Did this happen about the time you had your baby? Uh, Yeah, yeah. Um, Well, I got diagnosed with a blood clot around 30 weeks pregnant. And um, I'm now, he's now a month old, and I'm getting taken off the blood thinner as soon as of the, oh. the 12th, and that's what I'm really freaked out about. I'm just afraid, because now, ever since I got diagnosed with the blood clot, um, I have, like, PTSD from it. You know, I never had health issues or anything, and then now, um, everything, you know, any, anything that feels weird in my body, I'm like, oh, my God, you know, it's a, something's wrong, I need to go to the hospital, I'm going to the hospital all the time because I'm afraid <laughs> that something's there, and then okay. they're looking at me like I'm nuts. <laughs> and the doctors say you're okay then, because they're they're willing to take you off the blood centers then. 
Right, yeah, because the disorder that I have is called MTHFR, and uh, basically just mixed with pregnancy, it causes a lot of problems. A lot of problems. All right, right on. <laughs> like the bl- but um, yeah. Okay, well they want you to stop. <laughs> just they want you to stop stressing out about it because you're just feeding into it. Okay, it's like it's like having a fear. Okay, they want me to show you. It's like okay, so when we were a little kid, we used to be scared of the monster in the closet, right? So we would right. never go to the closet. We would always fear the closet, and we would make this giant. You know, maybe it was our stuffed doll that we saw that turned into this humongous giant. You know what I mean? Um, but they don't want mm-hmm. you to place fear there. They want you to see that yourself is happy, healthy, and whole, and that everything is working correctly. Um, because okay. if you keep giving into that fear, you're going to create something else. Okay? Right. So the anxiety right. can turn into panic attacks, and then, you know, you're not going to feel well at it all does. anymore ever. <laughs> so you have to, like, concentrate on being well. So releasing the fear is what I'm getting. Release the fear, okay, and know that you are standing in this because you want to be there for your son, okay? And I feel like your son's a little powerhouse too, okay? So it's like (laughs) you are, you know what I mean? He is already very alert Mm -hmm. and stuff for a month old. So it's like Mm -hmm. there's this connection, okay? So just go with that. They're showing me like you need to let go of the fear because it's like a big anchor holding you back. See yourself just yeah. being free and everything's okay. Because even those little things that you felt going on in your body and you went to go get checked out, did they find anything wrong with you? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Then you need to release those things, okay? Just go, all right, I'm just mm-hmm. releasing that. I'm going to be my happiest and healthiest self. Right. All right. You need affirmation. Find affirmations and repeat them all day long. Because since that happened to you, it's like you've been saying those other affirmations in your head, which are not for your best and highest. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you need to see yourself as happy, healthy, and whole. And call in the healing angels, because I feel like you're connected to the angels. So connect in with them. Allow them to heal you. Through you. For you. Okay. Yeah, I'm, that's who I usually talk to, <laughs> the angels. Good. Well, they're listening. You just need to listen back now because they're trying to talk back, but you're still freaking out, and they don't want you to do that anymore. Right. They're saying automatic writing would help. Write down the words that you hear. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and they want All me right. to leave you with that because they're sending you big love, stand in your light, stand in your power, and spread the love. You got this. Okay, thank you so much. I really do appreciate oh. it. Oh, absolutely. I appreciate you calling in today. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Have a great day. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I feel like they want me to mention healing is going out to everybody. So whatever you need to heal from, um, they want me to kind of stand up for a minute so the vibration goes all the way out of me. There's this healing vibration that's taking place right now. You may feel it as tingling in your hands and your body. Um, you may be feeling it as heat. There's a lot of different ways you could be feeling this right now to, to register that you're feeling this. So it's going out. So there's healing, releasing the past, releasing whatever fears you have, anger, whatever bad emotions um, that you're still holding on to, shame, guilt, any of those things that you're still holding on to, just release them and allow yourself to stand in your beautiful, beautiful life. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'm so excited that I'm here today. Um, I also want to tell you guys how you guys can reach me. So you guys can reach me on my website at IamMelissaParks.com. You can reach me by phone at 941-266-9250. You can leave a message or text me about um, getting uh, information about readings and all that fun stuff. And then I also want to remind you all, this is going to be our last week on Blog Talk Radio. So you guys that are listening are going to need to call a different phone number um, so that you can call in and ask questions. Um, And I'll also give you the website where you can just tap in and listen to. So next week, you guys will want to call the number. I'm waiting for everyone to get their pen and paper. Plus it'll be archived. You can get it later. The new number next week will be 206-806-9965. Again, that's 206-806. 9965. 
So I hope you guys call in next week and listen. I would hate for you guys to miss me if you guys are out there looking for me. You guys can also find it on the website, www.freeconferencecall.com slash wall slash Goldilocks Productions. So just be looking for that, you know, and we'll put it out in our little avenues and our websites and all that stuff so that you guys can all find it. But I just wanted to put that out there before I forget. Um, so you guys can definitely tap in to everything that's going on next week. <laughs> so I'm so glad that you guys are all here today. And I think I'm ready for my next caller. And that is calling in from area code 914. Hi, Hi. who are you and where are you calling from today? It's Katie from New York. Hi, Katie from New York. How are you doing today? Fantastic, thank you. And you? I'm doing great, thank you. How can I help you today? Um, I have a love question, if you don't mind. Sure. Um, Thank you. I um, go to a gym and there's um, two guys that work there. Um, and I feel like there's something up, like they um, give me a little bit more attention than they would other people. So I don't know. I was wondering if you could look into that situation. Um, one's a Gemini. The other one, I'm not sure um, what he is. But if you see anything there, any possible connections. Okay, let me tap in there for a second, Katie. All right, let Thank me tap you. your gym situation. No problem. Oh, let's see what's going on there. Hmm. Okay, so are they flirty too? That's what I, I'm trying to, um, you know, I don't know if I'm interpreting it correctly, but it feels like that sometimes. Well, I feel like they're really, really nice and they really, really enjoy what they do. And you're also one of those pure souls that actually go in there. Um, so it's like they are attracted to that. Does this make sense? Because a like is a little attracted to like. Um, but I do feel like they give you some extra attention. But this is also to help you. Um, so if you feel like, I feel like just let it grow a little bit and see where it goes. Because um, I'm not seeing if one or the other, I feel like it's pretty balanced right now. They're, they both are very attentive to you. Um, so if they're just like, open up and see where it goes. Open up and see where it goes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, you're welcome. And it's actually kind of fun when you go to the gym to have that kind of attention because it's actually like almost having a personal trainer without having to pay for it. So, right, right. <laughs> Which is awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so true. Awesome. <laughs> well, Thank I appreciate you, you calling in and asking that question today, Katie. That's awesome. Have fun at the Thanks, gym. At least you're getting it out there and you. working out. Yes, yes, and yes, and happy Halloween. Yes. Happy Halloween to you, too. Have a marvelous day. You, too. Thank you. Many blessings. Thank you. Many blessings to you, too, dear. Thanks. You're welcome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So there's a lot of, they want me to bring up relationships. So a lot of relationships out there are starting to shift and change, too. So whether you guys have been friends with people for a really long time or all of a sudden just meet and your best friends, all these things that are taking place in your life are supposed to be taking place. Good, the bad, the ugly, everything, everything's supposed to be taking place just as it is to help reset you. I feel like we're going to be going through this pretty much until we get into 2020. Um, so it's like, what are you opening yourself up to? What have you been asking the universe for? What have you been asking your angels for? What have you been asking God for? Your prayers are being answered. They may not be being answered just the way you wanted them to, but they are all going to lead you into the direction that you so desire to be in. And this brings great excitement on the other side as so many more people are really starting to wake up and really start to own your power and really starting to be master manifestors of creators of your beautiful life. Okay. And it's like, you are the masterpiece creator. That's what they just showed me. I don't know where the masterpiece came from because they just showed me a painting. So apparently you can paint this if you want. And I know this, you know, because they're showing me like a really big canvas, you know, and it's blank and it's just plain white. 
and you have that paintbrush in your hand or you have that pen or pencil marker, whatever medium you feel like you are drawn to, to start creating, even in your mind's eye, you don't have to pick up a tool at all. You can start to create what it looks like as you move forward. And they're so excited because everyone's thinking outside of the box. You're not letting other people's opinions affect where you're going um, because you realize everyone does have an opinion, right? And they are standing in their own two shoes. They're not standing in yours. So it's like you're owning your stuff. This makes me so happy. It makes them happy. It makes everybody happy. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, I don't know. I'll check if it's working now. Um, but everything that is starting to tap in and everything is just being freaking amazing. So I just want everyone to tap in and know that all is good. Everything's happening just the way that it should be. Um, I, it's not on my end yet. So and it's, so we're all tapping in and we're starting to start to create this beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um So we're starting to create, create, create. I know I have another utensil here. Perfect. All right, it is. So um, da, 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 da. where else are we going with all of this today? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You guys can probably hear it in my voice, and I keep saying that. I don't know if it's because I'm excited so that I can actually, um, you know, get dressed up and walk around with the kids again tomorrow. But it's so hot, people. We're having a heat wave down here. We're having, like, record highs here in Florida. You know, end of October, and we're reaching the 100. So everything's shifting and changing everywhere. We'll just roll with it. It's all good. Um, all good, all good, all good. So it looks like I do have another caller. We'll take that from 781. Hi, um, this is Laura. I, I saw you a few weeks ago, and your reading was so accurate and helpful that I decided to call back. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you for going back today. How can I help yeah. you today, Laura? <clears throat> so a lot of what you said already about relationships was basically what I was calling about. Um, I just recently had a big conflict with someone who was my friend, um, and she ended up saying so many so many mean things about me, and um, I ended up, I just, it, to, it taught me a lot about, you know, taking ownership of what you're saying with what you did, and then also not taking on what isn't mine, and I just kind of, from this whole thing, realized how much I often take care of other people's needs instead of my own, so I was just wondering if there was any advice you had from, from your spirit about really refocusing my energy, because I tend to get lost in other people's energy and then forget about what I need, and then it creates just not good situations. Well, I have goosebumps right now. So, and your guides were like, Woo-hoo! they were like doing this little chant for you on the other side as you did this, um, as you were telling me all about that, because you're already starting it. You're not putting up with that crap anymore. You're recognizing for people that are going to love you back the same love that you're putting out. It's like, it can't be a one way street anymore. And that's what you were getting on all the time were these one way streets. Um, Mm -hmm. and now you're like, it has to go both ways. You know what I mean? It has to, you know, there always has to be an exchange of energy, even with our friends. And sometimes it gets to be so much that we take care of our friends so much that we forget about ourselves. It's the same way about our kids and anyone else that we might have in our lives. Um, but now you've recognized what is good for you and what is not good for you. So now you're just going to like weed out what's not good. Okay. And when you get into new relationships, you're going to go, how does this make me feel right away? Does this feel Mm -hmm. like a two way street or do I feel like I'm going to be giving all my energy again? Because you were, you grew up a people pleaser. So it's like, you know, you're only trying to continue that, but really you have to start pleasing yourself first, everyone else second. And it's not being selfish because I've heard people say that this week, Um, you know, you're being selfish. And I was like, I know they're not. I was like, they're actually taking care of themselves. And what we think as selfish is really not, okay, because we're so used to taking care of everybody else. So this is fantastic. You're just going to start, you know, opening up to new friendships and starting all this new stuff. It's going to be phenomenal for you. Phenomenal. 
Okay, great. Yeah, I, I definitely, because I ended up realizing, I was like, actually, this relationship was stressing me out. So I realized, you know, why was I allowing that to happen? You know, why was I continuing something that was ended up not being good for me? Well, deep down somewhere inside of you, you felt like it was you were trying to help her. Okay, this okay. other individual. You are trying to help them with all the knowledge that you have or whatever advice that you would give, even though they would never listen. Okay, and then when you stood up for yourself, this is when that retaliation just happened. Um, you stood up for yourself. She spewed all this stuff on you, and you're like, I'm done. I'm yeah. Done. If, that, because, if that's how you view me, that's not who I am, you know. Yeah, it's true. That is exactly what happened because I'm like, wait a second, like I don't I don't know how that happened because that's not I understand your perspective, but that's not you know, it's like I it was so strange. Nobody's ever questioned my character like that. I've never experienced that. Well, it's also to help you change, okay? Because this is how some other people view you, but it's but how they're reacting to stuff too. And they use verbal diarrhea sometimes and just spew it on people. So, you know, and there's a word you can't take back. Yeah. You know, but it's all good. They put a lot of hearts around your name. So you are just going to float around in all this beautiful love and just creating more of that around you and really shedding out all the old stuff. Yeah. All right. So, Sounds good. But no, no, no. Do, you, do you have any other suggestions for how to like moment by moment kind of like just tune into what I need instead of paying yes, attention to other people. Yeah, ask yourself moment by moment. Okay, so it's kind of like I close my eyes and I go, all right, what do I need right now? What am I feeling right now? How do I want to feel right now? And then I go, I want to feel love. I want to feel connected. I want to feel all those beautiful things rather than all those other things that we could feel. And then notice that those things change out of your body and you start staying more connected to the now every moment. Because okay. that's the most important thing is how we feel right now. Because yesterday's gone, tomorrow, the, the next minute's not even here yet. We have now. How do we want to feel now? And always tap in and ask your heart. You know what I mean? They ask your soul center, how does this make me feel? Because it was like your brain and your heart were the one that were fighting over your friend. Your heart's like, don't do this anymore. Your brain's but like, I should. You know, and then all of a sudden things got switched up. So, they just show me, keep moving forward, you got this, and step in and, you know, standing in your truth and standing in that love is the best vibration ever, and that's being in the now. Being in the now, okay. Yes. Thanks a lot. You're welcome, and they just sent out a big wave of love to you, so that will help diminish anything else you're still feeling. Mm-hmm, thank you. Let it go. That's perfect. You're welcome. Yeah. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for calling in. Awesome. And they're sending out a lot of love. I feel like I'm this little beacon today because they keep vibrating me. Um, It's so funny because if you guys were here and I was trying to hold something out straight, my whole body's shaking. So the vibrations that are coming out to you all today are for your highest and best good. Tap into them, release and allow, and really stand in your highest and best power. It's so awesome, so awesome, so awesome. And it looks like I have another caller calling in from area code 561. Hello. Hi, hi. Who are you and where are you calling from today? Ah, I'm Mary calling from South Florida. Mary from South Florida. How can I help you today? Oh, gosh. Um, I, I, mean, I have really I need to move, and I'm just having such a hard time not finding anything. And it just, am I looking in the wrong place? Am I blocking it? I'm, it's been months now, and I just um, can't seem to open to... Where where to go? Okay, and you have Is a specific a weird question location or? in mind. Do you, no, it's not at all. Do you have a specific location in mind? Well, no, that's that's the thing. Um, I, no, I think it's still still South Florida, and I okay. just can't. I've been driving around and driving around, and I can't feel it. Okay, okay. Um, spread your circle out a little a larger. Okay. Um, Mm -hmm. I don't know if you need to go closer to the ocean or if you need to go a little bit more inland, 
But if they just showed me wherever your starting point is, they show me this circle. So it's like you're doing circles around these neighborhoods. And you're going out, and, and, they, and they take me out. Let's see, one, two, three, four. So go out at least another four miles or more where you're searching uh-huh. now. Um, yeah, so they're telling me these are miles. But it's in a circle radius, so that's, you know, uh-huh. from wherever you're located, from wherever your center point is now and wherever you've ended it, it has to go out another four miles. Um, because I feel like you're going to find it. I do feel like you're staying in South Florida. Um, but you haven't really put out to the universe what it is you're really looking for yet. You kind of have, but you're kind of wishy-washy about it. They keep showing me flip-flops, so that means you keep changing your mind a little bit. So it's like, what do you desire to live in? A two-bedroom, two-bath, da-da-da-da-da. Universe, I want to find it by such and such a date. Or the universe will divinely put it in your path. Um, I feel like you, it was almost like that canvas I was just talking about a little while ago. What are you creating for yourself? Okay. Cause I almost feel like you're creating the not finding it too, which makes sense and oh, not sense to me at the same time. <laughs> um, no, so yeah. you want to get out of your own way and start creating what it is you really want. Okay. And just because it doesn't show up in the first two months, timing is everything. Universe has got our time. God has got our time. That's a human thing that we keep track of, that whole time thing. Right. <clears throat> okay, so thank you so I much. I feel like I if you paint that. it out, absolutely. And just know that I feel like you'll find it by the end of the year. Okay, that's helpful. Awesome. <laughs> thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. You're, you're welcome, absolutely. Awesome, yeah. It, it, you know, it's funny because um, the whole moving thing, Um, disrupting of friends and relationships and not living where you want to live right now. It's so funny because they show me as almost like a little chess game right now um, where these pieces of you're all moving around. Okay. You're all moving around. We all got a job to do. We all got something to do. And there's so many layers to the jobs. I can't even begin to go through them now. Um, But it's like if you tap in and you use your mind's eye while I'm talking to you, they will give you, Hints. They will give you signs, symbols of whatever I might be talking about, showing you those layers of things that you might be doing. You know, it's just like um, I had this friend the other day that said something about um, her energy. And she goes, and any energy is important, okay? Whether it's three minutes, three seconds, a millisecond, our energy is important always, no matter what it's being put out on. So just like my voice and me speaking to you right now, it's very important that I'm doing this because the vibrations that are coming through me are touching you and they're touching whoever's going to listen to this later. And, you know, it took me a long time to believe that stuff, okay, because I came from a very weird background where I was not taught to believe any of this stuff, especially energy. That was all stuff that happened when I started learning about spirit and really tapping into all my energies and, and messages and all that stuff and getting to know my angels, guides, and all those people. You know, but it's like now that we've learned to tap in and we understand that this energy is real and that we are doing so many things on different levels, just like grid workers, right? You guys all have to fly around the country or around the world and you're, you need to go to somewhere and tap in your light there and connect in with other lights there. They're showing me all this little grid work now. So if you guys can imagine it all over the world, you know, this new beautiful matrix or Actually, maybe it's the old matrix from the beginning, then again. Um, we're anyways, we're rebuilding, breaking down. We got all this beautiful stuff going on. And they're just showing me that everything is really starting to fall into place. It may not feel it because I know some of this is hard stuff that you're going through. The emotions that we feel can be downright devastating, okay? Um, and I know, I know because I've been there. Um, But I'm sending you all a bunch of love so that everything falls into place for you. So all these little stepping stones are really starting to fall into place, which is way cool. Um, You know, so I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. They want me to say love, 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 love. So that sends out more of that vibration of that love out there. So which is way, way cool. So, again, we have a lot of exciting things going on. Um, tomorrow is Halloween. I hope you guys all have fun again. They want me to bring that up again because I feel like you're all hanging out with your friends, your family, going out trick-or-treating, spending that lovely time, um, and spreading your lovely energy around the neighborhoods 
um, with these families. So enjoy the night. Have fun with that. I love that it's going to be happening tomorrow. Um, so anyways, you guys can also find me on my website at IamMelissaParks.com. You guys can reach me by phone or text at 941-266-9250. And again, next week, Will, you'll have to call in at a new number. I'm going to bring that up again. So that new number next week will be 206-806-9965. And again, that website is when you go to tap in, we won't have the same links anymore. So it's www.freeconferencecall.com slash wall slash Goldilocks Productions. So I hope you guys are able to tap in next week and check out our new format and everything that we have going on. It'll be new for us. So hopefully there'll be no technical difficulties. Um, Everything will go just fine. You know, November is going to be a pretty powerful month, too, because we got all these ones going on, you know, 11-1, 11-11, and we got all these, you know, beautiful things that are going to be happening as we keep moving forward. They want you guys to just see this beautiful canvas still in front of you that you're creating your life and you're creating the magic that you have going on for yourself. Just know that this magic you are creating Um, Even if you feel like it's a step backwards sometimes, I don't know where that's coming from, but sometimes we have to step back a little bit to see where we're going. Um, You know, sometimes that's what's happening in life. We're stepping back. We're viewing what's going on. All right, we're going to rush right through that now because we don't need to be a part of that anymore. So amazing things are going to be taking place for you coming up. Um, You know, (laughs) that's so funny. So anyways, there's going to be beautiful things that are going to start happening for you because you're all starting to take control of your life. They just showed me a horse and you guys are grabbing the reins. This is awesome. All right. Woohoo. Riding off into the sunset. How beautiful will that be? You know, because you're creating it. What are you going to ride off into? What are you creating? Oh, my God, I'm seeing all these beautiful canvases starting to be created. I see every one of you starting to create on this new canvas, starting to create, co-create, all these beautiful things. It's so beautiful. Oh, my God. I wish you guys could see what's in my mind. I, I often say that. I go, I wish I could actually, you know, project out what I'm seeing so you guys could actually see it with me. Um, I think there is some kind of crazy technology out there that does that. I probably don't want to be a part of it, but it's probably out there. Um, But I wish I could do it. You know what I mean? So, uh, but telepathically, we're all starting to connect in more. Oh, and they want me to bring that up. So telepathically, which is talking to each other energetically without words, thinking about people all the way across the world, or even telepathically talking to our angels, guides, whoever might be on the other side. We are using that much more, okay? And it's funny because I could be thinking about someone, literally thinking about them, and then they text me. Um, so it's like, woo, or I think about them and they show up in my, in my place for a reading. Or uh, it's, so, it just, it's so awesome. I go, I knew you were coming, but I didn't know when, you know. But it's, like, so cool because everything's really starting to fall into place. So I really hope you guys are starting to feel that, too. And remember, things have to fall apart to come back together, which is a beautiful thing. Um, it doesn't feel beautiful. Well, it's happening, of course. But, you know, it's going to be great. Um, oh, 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 I know what I have to tell you, too. Oh, what was it? I just slipped my mind. That's ne- it all come back to it. So, um. Tiffany, what's the name of your show? I'm so bad with names. Um, I want to tell you that I'm going to be on her show on Sunday, so I'll tell you about that in a minute. So anyways, there's a lot of good things that are going to be going on um, coming up because you are starting to really create them for yourself. Um, And again, they're showing me more of the canvases are starting to be filled. So as I keep talking to you, you guys are creating all this beautiful love, creating these beautiful houses you want to live in, creating these beautiful relationships you want to be in, Creating, creating, creating. Okay. Thank you, Tiffany. So on Saturday night, I mean Sunday night, I can't even get my days. See, time is an illusion to me, people. Sunday night, this Sunday night, November 3rd, at 8 p.m., we will be live streamed on the Spiritual Insight Show. So that'll be fun. It'll be live streamed on the Goldilocks Facebook page, it'll, Goldilocks Productions Facebook page, YouTube, and Periscope TV channels. So that'll be exciting. Um, I actually think I'll be on video for that, right, Tiffany? I think she'll say yes, because I think I am. She's on video. But anyways, you'll be able to hear me. If not, you'll get to see me. Uh, <laughs> yes, I will be on video, so that'll be fun. Um, that'll be like my debut on Breaking Free on this uh, 
not doing the video yet. So thank you, thank you, thank you. That is TV only. That's fine. But if you guys tap in and see the TV or the live stream, um, just like it, comment, share, all that good stuff as it's going on. But look forward to that Sunday night. So there's a lot of exciting things going on. Also, I should mention, if you guys are in the Sarasota or the Florida area, um, this Saturday from, I think it's 11 to 5 or something, at Unity Church here in Sarasota, we will be holding this festival, this bazaar. There'll be readers. There'll be gifts to buy for your all your holiday gifts and needs and all that stuff. So just tap in for all of that. If you're local, tap in and check it out. Um, if not, tap in on the air because I'm always here on Wednesdays. Um, except there'll be some vacation time come Thanksgiving and Christmas, but you'll all be on vacation or spending family time, so we'll be all doing it together. How special is that? So with all the excitement that's going on, um, I'm ready to take my next caller because I have one. That's awesome. And they're calling in from area code 541. Hello. Hi. Who are you and where are you calling from today? Yes, this is Camille in Oregon. Camille in Oregon, how can I help yeah. you today, honey? Okay. Um, an intuitive question about finances. So I have my daughter in this beautiful um, private school, and, well, I am late with tuition. Will I be able to um, reconnect those dots and keep this going? Um. Well, somehow they got disconnected. So it's like they're showing me, because as you were talking, they were showing me, like, is this still for the highest and best of your daughter? Yes. Okay. Well, then they're showing me then the dots get connected. But this was to teach you some kind of lesson is what they're teaching me or showing me. They're showing me, like, it's kind of weird because they're showing me this volleyball court, which I have no idea what this means. But the ball is now back in your court. So it depends on what you want to do with it. There's a, there's a lesson around these finances. Okay. Um, yeah. And also, there's also, did you want to get a job at this school? No, I've, that's never crossed my mind. Because that's one of the things they kind of mentioned. Because if you get a job, you get a discounted rate in tuition. <laughs> right. They just want to throw that out there. <laughs> well, that's that makes sense. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but they also show me that you're going to be able to reconnect the dots, but you have to look at this lesson that you're learning, okay? And you have to look at it in a different way than you've ever looked at it before. Because right. I feel like it just creeped up on your shoulder somehow. Like it was, it's a past lesson that's coming back as a repeat. Oh. So you have to see where it repeats from to not to break the pattern. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So she'll because it's first grade she loves the school she loves the teachers she loves everything about it. it's a warm safe nurturing positive environment so right, right, right. our goal is to let's stay there and let's see it out through to the end which is i don't know eighth ninth grade depending on what they're able to to accomplish there so yeah i intend to keep her there i just need to um pay the tuition Right. Well, I feel like you have the opportunity to reach out to a friend and maybe borrow some money, and then you can repay them back or something. There's someone that's willing to help you get back on track. You just have okay. to reach out for the help. Okay. Interesting. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. I'm glad I could be of help today. Thanks. Absolutely. And awesome, awesome, awesome. So, yeah, I love that um, you'll be able to connect the dots. We're all starting to connect the dots. Just like I said, everything that's being shaken up right now is teaching us something, okay? It's really teaching us something. And I say that because I've learned a lot of lessons through October, okay? The first, the first part of October was, oh, my God, what happened to my life? Um, everything had to start changing. 
um, you know, because I got in my comfort zone too. It, this is happening for me as well as everybody else. So know that you are not alone, people, okay? We are all going through this. So it's like being shaken up a little bit so that we can get into the right groove. So everything's happening for a reason. You just have to look at it. And don't react to everything that's happening to you. That's something I had to learn at the beginning of the month. I was reacting like a, I was reacting, okay? I was reacting, reacting, reacting. And now I have to look at things and go, all right, so why is that triggering me? Really, it has nothing to do with me. Maybe it's the way they're talking to me. There's a lot of things that, you know, you just have to, you know, feel around. Um, and they really want you to, they want me to bring that up again too. So really, we have to start tapping into our heart center, okay? Our soul self. And really start asking ourselves those really hard questions. Like, how do I really feel about this? How do I fix these things? Because our heart is going to tell us really over um really over everything, okay? And if we have fear, that's going to take over whatever we start to believe because then we're going to start to believe in the fear. So it's like we're always fighting this little war within ourselves. You know, the, the fear starts to take over, and then all of a sudden we beat that fear, and then all this beautiful love energy starts winning, and then all of a sudden something, something triggers us, and then the fear takes over again, or the anger, or whatever it is that triggered us into that emotion. I feel like they want me to put this out there too, that we are clearing everything from this lifetime, people, okay? It's like, if you feel like you've done something bad, go ahead, forgive yourself. If someone has done something bad to you, please forgive them, okay? I know it's not easy, but life is not easy all the time, okay? We, but we need to make it easier. And by forgiving and getting over all those things, whether it's ourselves, someone else, we make our life easier. And I want to help you make your lives easier and really start creating these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lives that you could be having, okay? You know, it's just like um, it was something that popped up on my Facebook yesterday. I have more and more friends that are talking about more and more of the same stuff. And it was a question, do you love the job that you're going to? And they're like, no, I have an exit plan. I want out. Well, then, you know, there's a lot of people out there thinking like that. So what is your exit plan? Well, if your exit plan is to create exactly what it is you do want to be doing for the future, okay? You know, and it's like don't get into something you don't like just because of the money, okay? Because passion and joy is much more valuable than any dollar um, because when you feel that, the dollars just start flowing in. They flow in to, com- to help you create your passion, to make a living from your passion. And, and now it's open to let those floodgates open so that you allow that to happen for yourself. Woo! I tell you what, the energy is getting stronger as I go on. So I hope you guys are feeling it and really starting to connect into this love vibration that's going to start creating this life that you really want to have and getting out of these toxic relationships and getting into these beautiful relationships. And they keep showing me all these beautiful relationships going, oh, you know, everyone's looking for their twin flame soulmate. I don't use that. You're looking for your perfect partner, okay? You know, because soulmates and twins, um, they come into our lives to teach us something all the time. So I would like you to find that perfect partner that helps you grow. And sometimes you grow with those people and sometimes you don't. You know, it all depends on what your life purpose is. But I want you guys to all tap into that. Be a part of the love. Spread that love. Be the joy that you want to be. They show me all these little layers being shed off all you people. So allow the energetic layers of whatever you're hiding behind, whatever box you're keeping yourself in. Let yourself break free. Please. Oh, excuse me. See, they're changing up the energy for that. Please, please, please stand in that. Start changing up that energy for your highest and best good. I'm so excited for all of you, and I'm so happy that all of you have called in today, those of you that tapped in and listened today, those of you that, again, will tap in next week when you call the new number, when I find out where I put that, 206-806-9965, and tap into the Joyful Finding Show and so much more from Goldilocks Productions. Um, She puts us out as an elite team. We really just are. We are. You know, and you are all elite people, too, once you really stand in your power and really start to own that. Um, It's amazing the joy that starts to come from all that you start to create for yourselves and all that's starting to be created. 
you know, I'm just having great joy. And again, if you're in Sarasota this week, you can check me out. Oh, actually, I got a few things going on this week. I'll say it again. You can find me Saturday at Unity. Um, on Sunday, you can find me at Wild, and Wild Ginger. We're doing some um, Nia Enrichment Day. So that should be a fun day, whatever that is. Um, I'll be there doing readings and such. It'll be a lot of fun. And then that night, don't forget, Saturday night, I'll be on the Spiritual Insight Show at 8 o'clock with Tiffany. Woohoo! That'll be exciting. So I'm pretty much going to wrap up my show today, and I'm going to send you guys a bunch of love and blessings and all the creations that you're starting to create on those blank canvases I talked about earlier and spreading the love and being the love and being so joyful, standing in your power. Until next week, I love you. See you then.